More now on the political victory that will take former Toronto councillor Doug Ford to Queen's Park. It didn't come easy. There was much confusion over the vote results. Colin DeMello joins us live now. Colin, what a weekend. Oh, it certainly was a weekend, uh, Michelle. You know, and it wasn't until late last night that we had found out that Christine Elliott was going to concede uh, the race to Doug Ford. Originally, there was talk that she may have gone to court to challenge some of the results, but they decided to unify the party. Christine Elliott now says she will seek uh, a seat as well in the legislature in the upcoming election. I can tell you now that Doug Ford is the leader, there will be transition meetings so that uh, he can, uh, you know, easily move into the leader of the opposition's office. Uh, Vic Fideli has been the person who's been uh, caretaking it ever since the resignation of Patrick Brown. And the Liberals, now that all of this is over, they're finally getting a little bit of coverage again. So Premier Kathleen Wynne came out to tout old uh, announcements by the Liberal government in an effort to finally get a little bit of attention. 86 days before an election, and you can bet the unofficial campaign has begun. The Premier today visited a downtown daycare, a meet and greet moment complete with Wynne holding a baby. And the new leader of our party, Doug Ford. But the attention quickly turned to the newly chosen leader of the PC party, Doug Ford. Mr. Ford and I disagree on a lot of things, that there, there will be a stark choice in June, but that's not, I don't think that's news to anyone. Ford was elected on Saturday night in a soap opera style leadership convention. He wasted no time in setting his sights on win. And the Kathleen Wynn. I say your days as premier are numbered. Thank you. Ford's arrival into this race also brings a certain unknown. He has vowed to scrap the sex ed curriculum and said he wouldn't stop any debates over access to abortion. The Conservatives are a party that is going backwards and trying to drag Ontario back with it. From everything that we've seen over the past few months, and I dare say over the past 48 hours or so, the Conservative Party is in no shape to govern itself, let alone this great province. The polls show even with Ford at the helm, the PCs are poised to win the next election. So for the next number of weeks, I know there's going to be a lot of conversation about polls. There's going to be a lot of conversation about the politics that we're in, and I get that. Ontario votes on June 7th. And Doug Ford has said that in the coming days he is going to visit Queen's Park and have an informal caucus meeting. As well, we'll be hearing from him March 28th when the uh, provincial budget is released. The Liberals say they're going to run an $8 billion deficit, so expect to hear a lot from Doug Ford uh, then. And we're expecting to hear from him at some point this afternoon as well. We'll bring you more either later in the hour or tonight at 6. Reporting live, I'm Colin DeMello. Now back to you.